and welcome back. Today we're flying out to uh, Pure Mursky, or some people might call it the PM1. Swedish Premium 4.3, definitely one of my favorite planes in the game. And I'm gonna be showing you some dogfires today, because that's, at the end of the day, what this thing absolutely excels at. We got Tangling with an XP50 here, he gets an airspawn. I do not. But on this map, I do. And if the XP50 does not get an airspawn over you, you will actually end up being above it. XP50 stalls themselves out, goes up for us, he's going very slow. We manage to set him on fire, we crit him. Key 43 going in, shoot a few rounds and add-on, we break off. Key 43 is going to absolutely burn up in two seconds. And then the XP50 is crit and below us. So we go for the XP50, I notice the P63 next to him, he's extremely slow. And I'm just gonna pick him up before going for the XP50. The XP50 at this point is not a threat anymore. He got set on fire, he got crit. And you can tell by this turning circle, he is not going to be doing anything anymore. So we get some more hits in, because that damage model is absolutely bullshit. Turn after him, and at this point it's a done deal. We're just going to clean him up, and we are going to go straight into the next game. And another XP50. We went uh, with a little bit of a reverse at the start of the game. We hit each other, he went RTB, didn't have an engine left. And now, very late into the game, we are going to start another fight. So what do I want to do? I want to start this fight relatively quickly. I want to have some energy to position myself. And then I want to try and get as slow as possible. I will get the first shot in. I'm starting to drop these flaps. And now I just need to make sure that he doesn't hit this shot. So we just move out of the way. We neck G a little bit with our keyboard. We dodge his nose and his barrage of rounds. We have our flaps down. I see that he's going the other way, so we stall. We drop the nose. And we kind of predict his flight pad. Looks like he's going to the left here. So I'm just going to cut his path off. And because this plane is so much superior at lower speeds, I can easily do this. I'm not going to get the shot here, but we are just going to loop over him. We go horizontal to not stall ourselves out too hard. As long as you stay between 150 or 200 roughly, you have a lot of authority with this plane if you have the flaps down. I just went horizontal, I waited for my nose to pull in, and I'm getting a very easy shot there. And now here we are doing my favorite thing in this game, and that's dogfighting Spitfires when you're flying a plane with a lot of energy. And the Pure Mursky is one of those planes that makes this very much enjoyable, especially at medium to high altitude, because this Spitfire won't have the most amount of energy, or engine power in general, because it's a Mark V drop. Absolutely chokes at this altitude, so we're just gonna pitch up over him, and if he tries to pitch up for us, he might get a single shot, but I just dodge his round, or dodge his nose altogether, as he didn't even shoot. And I have all the energy in the world to get the energy trap. And he has to dive away at this point. And if he dives away, he will give me a 6. And if he doesn't dive away, well, then this happens right here. Stalls out in front of us. Get him down real quick. And we are going to go on to the next guy. So we have a few guys on the deck here. We have a 190, a 109. So there's a guy that just got unspotted. So who do I want to kill first? Depends on the positioning of them. The Spitfire on the bottom there isn't much of a threat. And the 190 is definitely closest. But I do want to be careful that I don't compress. Because above 550 to 600. This thing turns into a little bit of a brick. I'm not getting the shots in here very nicely. I managed to get a few rounds in. And I get a crit. We pull off. And I throttled back up. But I didn't hold it long enough. I fat fingered my key a little bit. So I'm on 49% throttle right now. And the reason I'm still leaving this in. Is because well the maneuver that I'm doing right here is not so much tied to your engine power which is why even though i am on only 49 percent throttle uh, up until very late into this fight i am still gonna make this maneuver work to a certain degree now if i had been weaponing this entire time i would have stalled this guy out very very easily but i didn't he manages to hit a few mg rounds at long range but he is completely stalled out so if i had actually throttled up this guy wouldn't even have gotten in gun range no matter however because it's a 190 he's extremely slow and he just doesn't have the power or the maneuverability to really get away from us at this point. He is very slow in front of us. He's trying to roll around, but with this kind of speed, it doesn't matter how much you roll or how much you pull on your stick. You don't have the speed to actually dodge my rounds. I got all my speed back from that dive, so we go head on with the Spitfire. Spray a little bit. I notice that no one really is coming for us. And I'm just going to go horizontal. And that might sound counterintuitive because I'm fighting a Spitfire. I had a lot more speed coming into this fight. And I can bring this guy vertical after a single loop. He bled a lot of speed. I'm still going 350. And then we just go straight up vertical. Mark 5C here is pretty maneuverable. But if you don't have any energy, it doesn't matter how well you turn. Because at the end of the day, you're going to end up at the end of this 20 mil. Down he goes. And a little bit later, we have a sea fire camping the airfield. For the last few minutes. And that's why I cut it out. 
So I'm just going to wait for the Seafire to finally come out. I'm dropped, I've dropped my altitude a considerable amount now. In the hope that he's actually going to try and fight me. And fighting a Seafire on the deck is, well, fun. Because he doesn't have the energy, but he does have the turn rate. Making this a pretty enjoyable fight if he just goes all in. And he does. We go head on. I have a lot more speed than him. So I'm just going to pull this thing vertical. And if he tries to follow it, the exact same thing is going to happen. He doesn't even get a shot here because he's way too slow and his turning circle is definitely suffering. I say good night in chat because, well, I felt a little bit toxic that day. And he's absolutely stalled out. He's not going to be doing anything. So I am getting a little bit cocky here. See fire trying to flat turn. And again, he outturns turns me. But with that amount of energy, it doesn't really matter. And here we are already at the last engagement. And I'm sorry the video has been a little bit short today. But I've been absolutely dying the last week. I've streamed four hours yesterday and I'm just kind of getting ready for the for the patch so I haven't really played a lot and this has been pretty decently old footage if you are wondering for more PM1 content I have an older video that I will link in the top right right here and basically nothing changed in there you have a little bit of a different matchmaker but everything I said there still applies so if you are looking for a more in-depth guide other than the highlight reel that I have right here then feel free to check that one out as well. And this 109F4 was in a squad with the guy I just killed. And it's really just filler content. So I wanted to talk about uh, some random stuff as well. Defensive guide is still being worked on. But my motivation has just been at its all time low. And I don't want to burn myself out by pushing through it. So I have some old content like this one. That I'm going to push out gradually. Which is also the reason why the A10 video of last week didn't have any commentary. I do want to keep the channel alive and I don't want to give the impression that I'm quitting. Because I probably won't be quitting anytime soon. But I do need to make sure that I upload about once a week. For the content program as well as just YouTube health in general. And if I really stop uploading I'll probably quit altogether. And I don't want to do that. But I just know myself longer than today. So I hope this was enjoyable to you. I'm gonna get ready for the patch. Because when the patch drops I am gonna crank out all the new vehicles. Or at least all the new air vehicles. And after that we'll see what, uh, what time will tell. Time will tell what's gonna happen. But don't count on me quitting. I'm just uh, getting to a rough patch right now. Just health wise as well as motivation wise. Just need to get through that. And then we should be all back on track. A little bit of a short one, hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Next up we're probably going to be looking at something like the SU-11 or the F3D. Look forward to that. See you probably next week, unless the, the patch drops a little bit quicker than that.